Hello folks, here it is, finally, as promised, a legitimate unboxing video. This is an item that I got from eBay, uh, just recently arrived yesterday. I bought this from York Regional Collectibles on eBay. York, let me make sure I got that right. Yeah, York Region Collectibles. So not too far away in the Toronto area. Um, and so far, sturdy packaging. Definitely lots of sealed shipping label pouch. Also keeping the box sealed. I'm very excited to see what is in here. Uh, I know what it is. Um, I'm a huge, tremendous geek. That's why I bought this. Uh, this is kind of another one of my holy grail items, so to speak. So let's get this open. Lots of sturdy packaging. Like, nothing's moving around in there. Very solid. Great packaging. Uh, by the way, none of these videos are sponsored by anybody, especially not the people I've purchased from. So these are all genuine, honest reaction videos this is the first time i'm opening this again really well packed that's a big thing you want to keep an eye out is uh that stuff doesn't move around and i'm going to get this bubble wrap open again very securely packed good quality tape lots of bubble wrap and here it is alf Series 1 from 1987. Now, if you're not an 80s kid, you probably don't understand why ELF was a big deal, but it really was at the time in the 80s. So this is the full set. Uh, if you ever watched the show, or if you've seen it in reruns, or even seen the animated version of the show, these cards are fun because they have little comic balloons, and it's just snapshots from the show so these are in great condition uh exactly as promised so well done now let me show you. see these are fun and uh i have never actually owned possessed or held this entire series before um as a kid i used to pick up elf trading cards a lot i still have some of them but they were all from series two so i've never actually fully looked through all of series one uh I don't know if anyone in my area, being that I grew up in a rural area, actually sold the Series 1 ALF cards. Um, these were great, though. They came in wax packages with bubble gum, just like the old baseball cards. 69 cards, 18 stickers. Uh, and I'll show you the highlight of this for me. So this is all great little time capsule anecdotal stuff from the show. And there's also sticker cards. So each of these are a different sticker from the show. Uh, and they seem to be holiday or Valentine themed. It's funny because these are like memes before memes because the internet wasn't around when this came out. So like you wanted to see funny, weird puns, puns, because Alf only has four fingers. So of course, give me four. Uh, so this is like a precursor to all of that stuff you've been sharing on Facebook and Instagram all day. Um, so that's really fun. But the real, real highlight for me is the secondary series from both series one and two. Series one, these are white. And in series two, they're red and yellow. But the Boulia baseball cards. So if you're not familiar with the show, Mac is supposed to, or Mac, Al, <laughs> Alf is supposed to be from the planet Melmac. And this is a set of sports cards uh, from a sport called Boulia Baseball from the planet Melmac. So similar to baseball, but, uh, you know, they use Boulia Bays. And somehow there's a lot of dead fish references. And I really, what I really love about these cards is that uh, they, they remind me, they're very akin, they fit into that category of like, what I was showing you the other day, the Toxic Waste Zombies cards and the, uh, you know, Wacky Packs, Grocery Gang, uh, and Garbage Pail Kids, stuff like that. And just these like kind of fun, subversive, little baseball card things. I just, I love that they've got the stats. 
sorry, I just realized that wasn't on camera. They've got like stats for the players, at bats, scoops, splats, their lifetime and their annual batting average. So it's just really fun. Uh, and <laughs> some of the team names, the Rosenblum Phantoms, the Bandorf Yesmen, uh, Niesbeck Luminescence, and just some of the, the comedic images here, like the guy is using a giant fork and there's a hand coming out of the ground. Um, this one I've seen before, and that's that one's memorable, Ban from the Bandorf Yesman, Thor the Tank Tankersley. So they're all aliens from the planet Malmac, but you can see they're all extreme and disfigured and just ridiculous. Um, and so that's really what I love about these ALF cards, this uh, these series. And of course, we've got... Gordon No Problem Shumway at the end, and that is, for those who aren't familiar with Alf, that's Alf's real name. Uh, when he lands on Earth in the TV series, the human family that takes him in and helps him hide from the government call him Alf because it stands for alien life form, but his real name is Gordon, Gordon Shumway. Uh, <laughs> nickname No Problem from the Melmac Orbiters, and uh, his position is Middle Spritz, <laughs> whatever that is. So they're just fun uh, and, and really great. And I've never, ever had or held this entire series in my hands before. Uh, so it's a real fun way. We've got a Boolea baseball card checklist on the back of the checklist. So they have different numbering for, uh, it's funny, it's essentially three series in one. Um, we've got the regular series of cards that goes up to 36. The stickers go up to 15, and then the Booya Baseball cards go up to 22. And so it's really three series in one. Again, it's a very unique feature, not something you see very often. Um, really fun. This is going to go in my personal collection. Um, I haven't finished reading all my Toxic Waste zombie cards yet, so I'll be checking out and reading all of these after. Um, and again, the stickers... The backs of them if you actually were the kind of person who wanted to use the stickers the uh, cards assemble into an alf poster on the back um i am obviously not going to use them i'm going to save them uh so this is going in my personal collection will it end up on ebay eventually maybe um but it'll be as part of a big alf lot if i do that so um that would be in the future but not anytime soon because i am going to enjoy these for a while um, and hang on to them until such time as I need the room. Now, as I always do, I give you a preview of something else that's going to be on eBay in my store. Uh, I'm going to actually show you a couple things real quick. This one is uh, a Montoy transforming robot toy. Now, if you're not a transformer head, you'll know it's a big deal that it's a handgun. Um, the only other handgun transformer was the original Megatron, and they made it a policy not to make transformers that look like handguns anymore. So that's why this is obviously an off-brand one. Uh, it comes with foam darts, so it's actually like a foam, it's a knockoff Nerf gun and transformer, knockoff transformer at the same time. It turns into that robot you see in the top corner there. Now, these have gone on eBay. I've seen them listed. 50 60 dollars i've seen them sell in that region too uh, sometimes they go sometimes they don't so uh, i recently ran an auction it didn't go so i'm just going to mark it down to clear some space on my shelves um, i don't often do that but because this isn't a branded original transformer i will do that now the other thing i want to show you is uh, this one is obviously it's distressed it's collectible but it's uh it's worn it's a superpower Superman. And looking at the wear and the age, you might assume that it's from the original series made by Kenner in the early 80s. But in fact, it's from the second series produced by Toy Biz. And I'm going to tell you how you can tell that. First of all, um, it's really hard to read. You're not going to be able to make it out. But the uh, DC Comics copyright information is on the back of his leg. Uh, in the Kenner versions, I believe they're on the bottom of the feet, and they, if I recall correctly, they say Kenner. I don't have one on hand to compare. Um, but the other thing is that uh, the original Superpowers 
all had a mechanized gimmick where you squeeze their legs or their arms and their other, you know, if you squeeze the arms, the legs move. If you squeeze the legs, the arm moves or they have a button on the back. Uh, whereas the the second series produced by Toy Biz had different gimmicks. And so since there's no gimmick on this uh, Superman that's obvious, I know that it's the Toy Biz one from 1989, even if I, because I'll tell you, the, the date on the back of that leg is so tiny it's hard to read. I think it says 1989, but I'm not certain. But what I do know is that uh, there's no mechanized gimmick on this figure. And that tells me that it is from the second series. And that means that his gimmick is the most well hidden one of all of the superpower toys. And that's that there's a magnet in his chest. He came with a kryptonite ring that you could put on your own finger and hold up to him. And the magnets would push each other apart and it would make him fall over. So that's his gimmick. You put a, uh, a magnet to his chest when he's standing and he'll fall over. Uh, and you can pretend it's kryptonite if you want. Let me just adjust this. I need a shorter tripod. Um, anyway, so, uh, there's been a lot of interest in toys on eBay lately, so I'm going to throw these up and uh, some lucky collector will be happy to get them. Uh, again, I know this one's a little distressed. It's going to go for a little bit less. Uh, if I was really ambitious, I'd put the time into possibly trying to restore this, but I just don't have the time for that right now. So someone else may want to pick this up and restore it, touch up the paint and whatnot. But uh, these are just some of the things that will go up on eBay. But really fun. Uh, really, really happy about that ELF set. Very, very nice product. Um, very well kept. And let me know what you guys want to see in the future. Do you want to see how you clean stuff? Uh, clean collectibles for yourself or, or before you sell them? Um, do you want to learn more about how to tell the difference between different things? Um, let me know. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Have fun. And uh, up, up, and away.